Hello everyone, good afternoon. Uh, let's see the same uh, electronic configurations but for ions, for cations and anions. Actually atoms will uh, lose electron or gain electron to become more stable. So why electrons are uh, losing electron or uh, why electrons are gaining electrons? See, uh, why atoms are gaining electrons? So let's see one by one. See, why means actually some elements we have like uh, helium, neon, argon and uh, krypton, okay, xenon and radon you have. So these are the elements which we call as the noble gases or inert gases. Okay, so helium if you see it's having uh, 1s2 and neon have uh, uh, 1s2, 2s2 and 2p6. Uh, argon is uh, 1s2, 2s2 is 2p6 and next is uh, 3s2, 3p6 it have. And a similar way you have uh, here, what you have here last? 3s2, 3p6. So here you have some 4s2, 4p6 at last. And here you have a 5s2, 5p6 at last. And radon has uh, 6s2, 6p6 at last. Last means last shell, the highest n value. I told you that we called as outermost shell. This 2s2, 2p6 is the outermost shell because highest n value is the outermost shell. See here 1 and here uh, with 2 and here these two with 3. So 3s2, 3p6 is the outermost. See how you know sir because these are noble gases and the outermost shell electronic configuration is same and that we call as uh, octet configuration. Octet configuration and we use ns2 np6 we use so every atom will try to get the same kind of electronic configuration means maybe except this uh, helium few will try to get helium configuration but remaining all remaining elements will try to get these kind of configurations either neon configuration or argon configuration or krypton xenon or radon like that and this outermost configuration we call as a general electronic configuration of noble gases which we call ns2 np6 and this will be a common in every noble gas at last shell last shell means uh, uh, what we call outermost shell or ultimate shell okay so this is very clear so what every remaining atoms of periodic table will do means every atom will try to get stability like this but how by gaining electron or by losing electron or by sharing electron that means they are losing or gaining or they are uh, sharing electrons and forming a chemical bond and they are getting stability so we have to see first uh, cation electronic configuration cation electronic configuration how a cation have a sudden electronic configuration means see cation means first of all what Cation means uh, it's a positive ion. Cation means what? Positive ion. So how positive ions will form? These will form by the loss of electrons. Cations are forming due to loss of electron. Okay. So, sir, which electron we have to remove? Okay, cation we understood that's a positive ion. And positive ions are forming uh, just by loss of electron. But what electron we have to remove to form a cation means uh, outermost electron. Outermost uh, electron we have to remove. To form what? To form cation. This is a very important thing for us. So to form cation, we have to remove the outermost electron itself. Everybody knows outermost electron means uh, the highest energy we call no highest n value outermost means that's a very simple thing you have to remove which one we have to remove means which has highest energy that electron we have to remove no so the orbital which has or the subshell which has highest energy from that we have to remove electron if i say that is wrong statement so what i am telling you we have to remove electron from the outermost shell or outermost subshell. Outermost means with the highest n value irrespective of particular energy I am telling you. Okay, this point I am stressing you one more time. 
you have to remove electron from the outermost shell or outermost subshell with the highest n value okay that is very important okay see now i'll give you one example suppose sodium is 1s2 and 2s2 and 2p6 and 3s1 it is okay so actually we know z is equals to 11 we have sodium so if you remove one electron what is the outermost first of all you must have idea okay this is one and these two are second so this is k and these two are l and this 3s is belongs to m shell so highest n value that subshell which is present in m shell so this will be the outermost shell so what i am telling outermost electron only you have to remove that means you have to remove 3s electron only that is the most important thing for us so sodium must uh, lose one electron and form Na plus and now Na plus the configuration Na plus here positive charge the meaning it lost one electron okay plus charge means it's not the meaning it gained one electron no plus charge indicates the number of electrons lost plus one so one electron lost plus two two electrons lost plus three three electrons lost like that okay Na plus means now it's 11 minus one so it have a 10 electrons Sodium has 11 electrons because atomic number is 11 but Na plus has uh, 10 electrons because uh, it lost one electron okay so now why uh, sodium lost one electron that's your question uh, that's here you have information the neon has 1s2 2s2 2p6 as I told you in previous every atom will try to get stability like noble gases so till here is a like a noble gas configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 so sodium will say okay i have one extra electron i lose if i lose one electron i get more stability who will say like that mr sodium will say like that so sodium will lose mr 3s electron suddenly if it lost this electron you will have 1s2 2s2 2p6 which is called the neon configuration so Na plus has what configuration means uh, the nearest noble gas configuration so it's a very important uh, concept for us every atom will try to lose electron or gain electron and get nearest noble gas configuration so what is the meaning of nearest noble gas configuration for sodium the nearest means 10 is a noble gas you know this it is atomic number is 2 and it's 10 and it's uh, 18 like that it's a uh, 36 and you know you you can understand all this uh, later on okay so every atom suppose 17th element will try to get uh, electronic configuration like 18 12th atom means atomic number 12 means magnesium will try to be like neon so nearest one to that okay suppose sulfur the sulfur is 16 so it will try to get stability like argon so every atom is uh, trying to lose electron or gain electron and getting stability like these noble gases means they are attaining nearest noble gas configurations like this okay so now what is the Na plus configuration it is uh, 1s2 and 2s2 just 2p6 that's it so 3s0 because it lost one electron so no need to represent so Na plus has what configuration neon configuration how it got neon configuration Na plus by loss of electron got it clearly so like that we have uh, remaining uh, atoms also like that means atoms uh, who have extra electron than noble gases they will try to lose electron who have uh, less they will try to gain electron so how you can understand up to three electrons if they have extra than noble gas configuration so they will try to lose electron or one electron less or two electron less or a maximum three electron less than octet configuration then they will try to gain electron getting what i'm saying so it's a very clear thing so some like uh, a very uh, less 1s2 or 2s2 2p2 sir uh, it's a four electron four electrons required so i'm telling you if three electrons more there three electrons less there then only loss of electron or gain of electron takes place but here 2s2 2p2 means uh, the four electrons are present in the outermost so four more is required so four more gain or four more lost it's not a, not at all possible so carbon like uh, element will try to share 
electrons in chemical bond formation. So carbon neither lose four electron or uh, uh, nor get the four electron. What I'm saying, understanding, if it lose four electrons, a he, uh, helium configuration, four electrons gained, uh, then six plus four, then neon configuration, which is not possible for carbon. Okay, I think uh, you understood very clearly about this. So let's see some other elements like uh, calcium, Ca2 plus, how to get Ca2 plus formation, let's see. <laughs> See what you have a uh, calcium. Calcium is Z is equals to you have uh, 20. So you know the configuration of calcium. It's a uh, 1s2, 2s2, and uh, 2p6, and it's a uh, 3s2 and 3p6 and 4s2. So total 20. You can check once. 2 plus 2 plus 6 and uh, 2 plus 6 plus 2. So total 20. So calcium plus 2 means the nearest. For 20, who is the nearest? Noble gas. Secondly, argon. Otherwise, you can check the electronic configuration. 3s2, 3p6 is the octet configuration. Octa means 8 electrons. So, if you remove these two electrons, certainly you will get the uh, argon configuration, right? So, calcium will try to lose these 4s electrons. Okay. So, then what you will have here? 1s2 and 2s2 and 2p6 and uh, 3s2, 3p6. This is the configuration of calcium. 2 plus. Hope you understood. Calcium configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 and 3s2, 3p6 and 4s2. So it have two extra electrons in the outermost. What I told you, you have to remove electron from outermost shell. So 4 is the highest number. This 4, this is the first term. Shell number I told you. 1, this 2 and this 3 and this 4. So you have to remove electron from the highest n value subshell. Highest n value subshell means certainly 4s. So you have to remove electron from this. Sir, so, uh, if you uh, add electron, means 6 electrons we have to add. Instead of addition of 6 electron, removal of 2 electron will be very easy. Certainly it will lose 2 electron from here and it will get uh, what configuration? This is nothing but argon configuration. You can check. So this calcium 2 plus has argon configuration. Like that they'll ask you. Uh, calcium 2 plus has uh, uh, which noble gas configuration means argon configuration or calcium 2 plus has uh, octet configuration and what subshells okay I told you already the number of electrons in outermost sub subshells I was given already okay so I have uh, no need to mention but in some cases uh, we have some problem like Fe2 uh, plus or Fe3 plus formation let's see Fe2 plus uh, formation See, these are very important for writing electronic configurations as well as chemical bonding. So, very important. So, iron uh, atomic number, I think you know, you remember that is 26. Iron. Okay, manganese, iron, cobalt, nickel, copper, zinc, you know. So, 1s2 or 2s2 and 2p6 and uh, 3s2 and 3p6 and 4s2, 3d6. For uh, particular those metals after 20 it's very simple here what number you have 26 right so the last uh, 4s and 3d will have the same number 26 and here 26 that's a very simple thing to identify the configuration so i hope you understood 4s and 3d subshells has the atomic number of electrons except that chromium and copper okay so here iron you have so 1s2 2s2 2p6 and 3s2 3p6 and 4s2 3d6 is the configuration of iron so the same you can write like this also it's not a problem actually filling is like this 4s after 3d because you know this 4s the n plus l value n plus l value is 4 plus 0 and for 3d the n plus l value is 3 plus 2 it's 4 and it's 6 suddenly the uh, 4s and 3d sorry 3 plus 2 is 5 so 4 plus 0 is 4 and uh, 3 plus 2 is 5. Uh, suddenly what uh, subshell we have to fill according to Akbar? First 4s and then 3d we have to fill. Correct? So here 4s after 3d we fill. But electronic configuration as a shell wise you can represent. It means uh, first one, sub one shell and next second shell, third shell, fourth shell like that. That is also correct. So 1s2, 2s2 and 2b6 and 3s2. 
and 3b6 and 3d6 and 4s2 the representation is correct it's not at all problem and this and this both are correct actually filling is in this order representation is this shell wise this is first shell this is second shell and these are oh, sorry uh, these are these are a second shell 2s and 2p 3s 3p 3d are third shell and 4s is the last shell so fe2 plus formation if you see now what is the fe2 plus formation if you see you have to remove electron from the outermost not according to the energy according to energy means uh, 3d has more energy so we feel uh, we have to remove electron from 3d no you have to remove electron from 4s this is a very important thing you have to remove electron from outermost shell irrespective of energy okay outermost means i was clearly told you the highest n value n means what that particular shell number here 4 is the highest number so this from 4s you have to remove electron not from 3 this is very clear okay hope you understood and the fe2 plus configuration now it is uh, 1s2 and 2s2 and 2p6 and 3s2 and 3p6 and uh, 3d6 because you removed electron from 4s2 okay few people will write like this fe2 plus means uh, 1s2 2s2 and 2p6 and uh, 3s2 and 3p6 and they won't remove electron from 4s 4s2 and the two electron from 3d and sir 3d4 this is correct no sir for fk2 plus because 3d is highest energy not energy shell you have to consider means highest n value you have to consider that's it from the highest n value sub shell you have to remove electron okay so it's very clear this is correct or wrong this is correct and this one is absolutely wrong representation of uh, electronic configuration of fe2 plus and that will be correct okay now let's see what is the electronic configuration of fe3 plus okay so you have fe2 plus configuration so as i told you first uh, write down iron so iron is z26 uh, and those many electrons will be present 26 so 1s2 2s2 2p6 and 3s2 3p6 and 4s2 3d6 4s2 3d6 according to the energy like this so as i told you one more time i'm writing so you can write like this also just for a wide confusion 1s2 2s2 2p6 and 3s2 3p6 and 3d6 and 4s2 you have so what is the fe2 plus configuration you have some idea for some idea fe2 plus means as i told you you have removed electron from this so 1s2 and 2s2 and 2p6 and 3s2 and 3p6 and 3d6 because two electrons you removed so 2 means 26 minus 2 so plus 2 so you have to write plus 2 no plus 2 means you have to take ulta means you have to remove two electron 26 minus 2 it's 24 so now this is the configuration of fe2 plus now what is the fe3 plus configuration i want to compare both fe2 plus as well as uh, fe3 plus very simple you have to write fe3 plus without fe2 plus how to write just take fe configuration means without considering fe2 plus you wanted to write fe3 plus suppose okay don't consider this fe2 plus don't look at this i want from iron to iron 3 plus okay so fe3 plus means again now uh, it have to lose three electrons how to remove three electrons means first you have to remove if even you are not writing this it's not a problem okay you have to remove electron from highest n value subshell so from 4s yes from 4s you have to remove electron first so two electrons you have to remove so sir, third electron you have to remove from what subshell certainly next energy one is 3d sir 3s 3p 3d then all are belongs to third shell only no sir so third electron we have to remove from what means next outer will be what 3s 3p after will come now 3d so 3d will be outer okay then you can consider energy not a problem but shell will be outermost to remove electron that is the first thing you have to consider so first two electrons you removed from this 
afterwards the third electron you will rem remove from 3d6 so you will have the configuration 1s2 2s2 and 2b6 and uh, 3s2 and 3b6 and you will have mr 3d5 so otherwise from fe2 plus to fe3 plus if you see from here to here you removed one electron that electron should be from 3d not from 3p sir this is having 3 this is having 3 this is having 3 all three subshells have uh, the n value 3 only from where you have to remove electron means then you can consider energy so energy wise 3d has highest energy so that will be outermost now but here energy we won't consider for different n value who have highest n value that will have highest sorry that will be outermost so you have to remove from 4s itself thank you so now i have a question which is more stable fe2 plus is more stable or fe3 plus is more stable is my question so then what to do fe2 plus is stable fe3 plus is stable means uh, definitely fe3 plus is more stable how you are saying sir fe3 plus is more stable in previous one topic i was explained if a shell or subshell if a fully filled or half filled that will be more stable i told you for subshells i told you the subshells with uh, completely filled or half filled are more stable i was given so here 3d5 we called as uh, half filled so suddenly this is having more stability so stability is more here sir how you are saying this is half filled you know d subshell will have maximum 10 electrons s has 2 p has 6 d has 10 f has 14 like that so half electrons means 3d5 because 10 electrons is a maximum so 5 electrons is half so 3d6 is not half and 3d5 will be half of the electrons so certainly this fe 3 plus is more stable because uh, the outermost shell if you consider this is having 3d5 and this is uh, 3d6 you have outer only i am writing like this here 3d6 you have here 3d5 you have fe2 plus we called as uh, ferrous ferrous fe3 plus is called uh, ferric this is the most important uh, uh, information for you see us means less us less so fe2 plus less charge is ferrous that is the clear indication for us ferrous means less oxidation state ferric means more oxidation state oxidation state is nothing but formal charge that you will understand in future okay ferrous means okay that has less oxidation us less so ferrous has less charge and ferric has more oxidation state or more charge like the cuprous cupric which has more charge which cuprous has less charge and cupric has more charge like that and uh, in your comment box you write down what is the copper plus configuration and copper plus two configuration i'll check comment box everybody in this video okay cu plus i want and cu2 plus configuration i want i am writing here you have to write what is the configuration of cu plus and what is the configuration of cu2 plus so which has less oxidation state that is us this is cuprous and which has more oxidation state that is ic this will be cupric this will be cupric that is cuprous and both configurations i want not in notes in our comment box okay thank you very much and uh, let's see now some electronic configurations of anions so how cations are forming due to loss of electron now how anions are forming by gain of electrons as i told you outermost uh, shell if it is 3s2 3p6 next if you have up to three electrons extra they will lose electron for 3s2 3p6 to get some up to three electrons less they will gain electrons okay so let's see now anion electronic configuration let's see one by one so how anions are forming what are the anions anions means negative ions negatively charged how these anions are forming anions are forming by the gain of electron by the gain of electrons means these are electron 
seeking means they try to get electrons but come to the cations they have uh, electron rich they are like rich people they will try to lose electron more than octet they have who mr cations actually okay so cations uh, that's why losing electron now anions are uh, negative ions and uh, gaining electron <laughs> means they are having less than octet suppose if you see like uh, chlorine what is the chlorine atomic number z is equals to it's 17 okay atomic number 17 you have the configuration 1s2 2s2 and 2p6 and 3s2 and uh, 3p5 you have so if you see the configuration the 1s2 you have and here this is k shell and this is l shell and this is m shell so here how many electrons you have if you see this 2 plus 5 in m shell you have uh, seven electrons definitely in the last shell you have one electron less so it is electron electron seeking means it's a try to gain electron who will try to gain electron mr chlorine so chlorine will take electron like uh, 17 plus 1 you have right like in previous we written minus charge but here positive charge and Cl minus if you write uh, you will have the configuration 1s2, 2s2 and 2p6 and uh, 3s2, 3p6 what happened here? so here if you see the shell wise K, L and M here you have 2 and 2 plus 6 8 and uh, 8 means what happened here in the outermost you have 7 so here you have 8 so what you are doing? the losing electron or gaining electron both takes place at outermost itself means you added electron one electron you was added so this electron by addition it is taking electron so most important thing addition of electron or loss of electron both takes place when both are combining together okay like uh, Na and Cl if this configuration if you see it's a uh, 1s2, 2s2 and 2p6 and 3s1 and chlorine it's a 1s2, 2s2 and 2p6 and 3s2, 3p5. So what kind of conversation is, will take place between sodium and chlorine? This uh, chlorine will say like that, uh, Mr. Sodium Guru, I have uh, 2 plus 5, 7 electrons, so 1 electron less, I want 1 electron, please donate. Then this sodium will give reply, okay, no problem. I have one extra electron because even I don't have this electron I have octet configuration 1s2 2s2 2 b 6 so this one electron I will donate to you this will say so sodium will form Na plus and chlorine will form and Cl plus Na plus and Cl minus will combine and form NaCl so this loss of electron and gain of electron while formation okay when takes place means when they are combining this is the most important thing and I give you some more applications in our uh, assignment. I hope you understood when atoms will gain electron and when atoms will uh, lose electron. And last and final, uh, if you want you can write O-2, how to write configuration. Write down the O-2 configuration. Oxygen configuration is 1s2 and 2s2, 2p4. If you see the configuration, uh, because oxygen atomic number is 8, 1s2 and 2s2 to 2 be 4 2 plus 4 6 but octet means how much 8 so they require two more electrons certainly oxygen will take two electrons and o minus 2 means 6 plus 2 don't take 6 minus 2 because minus 2 is there no sir 6 minus 2 no 6 minus 2 means they gain it two electrons so 8 electrons so 1s2 2s2 2 be 6 now so see what happened o minus 2 has what configuration O minus 2 has a neon configuration again. See, by the loss of electron or by the gain of electron, they are getting nearest noble gas configuration. Even Na plus has neon configuration itself. This O minus 2 has neon configuration itself. O minus 2, not oxygen. Like F minus neon configuration means nearest noble gas they will take and they will do some these kind of transactions. Loss of electron or gain of electron like that. Hope you understood. Few more examples we will discuss in our next class. Okay. Thank you.